goodness. Thank you for joining us as we visit Amador. We're out here in Ion. Beautiful day out in the pasture. It is a pastoral setting full of oaks and farmlands and prisons and castles. And we have at least one prison and one castle. At least one prison and one castle. That's right. Well, we should go over and see what Clark's Corner is cooking up. We can't come to Ion without stopping at Clark's Corner, the best coffee house, I think, in the county. It is fabulous, and it's a regular place for me and my daughter. Uh, we have Jessica, the general manager over mm -hmm. here, we're going to introduce to you, and uh, I think she's going to serve us up some lunch, and we're going to have a great opportunity to enjoy uh, Clark's Corner here. Sounds good to me. Oh, here she is right here. Hi, Hi Jessica. Hi. Hey. How are you? We're doing great. Thanks for having us over. Thanks for coming. Well, you're the acting general manager of Clark's Corner. There's a lot going on here at Clark's Corner. You have a lot of events. Yeah, we do. We have bingo, trivia. We have a lot of live music lately, too. We just had a acoustic conga came in on Friday. I heard them. They were good. We're going to have you, too, over on the show over at TSPN. We want to sit down and really chat about everything that's going on at Clark's Corner because it really is an exciting uh, spring, summer venue coming up. And we want to really cover all that in detail. And thank you for hosting us for lunch today. Hey, no problem. Let me go check on your guys' order. Okay, all right. great. Thank Thanks you. Thanks so much. Okay. This is a steak melt with potato salad and an Italian raspberry soda is what I ordered. Mm, that looks what delicious. What did you order over there? I have the turkey cheddar panini with a fresh fruit salad, and I have my cappuccino that is just oh, phenomenal. Paninis. I just love those. I I bought a special panini maker just to make things just, but I don't think it comes out as nice as that, that one, one looks does. pretty good. <laughs> that one looks pretty good. <laughs> well, we have a lot going on in Ion coming up um, with the spring-summer schedule. Mm -hmm. One of the fun things coming up here in a couple months is homecoming, which I is was, like a carnival. Just was, fabulous. It might have felt like high school, but I wanted to invite you to homecoming. Maybe cover that with me. I want to come out and actually bring the cameras out and do I that one. I love it. It's so you much join me fun. And cover that I'm one? in. Let's Great. do it together. We'll do homecoming together. Okay. It's called Ranchos and Sombreros this year. It's the first, it's always the first weekend of May. Mm -hmm. I think they celebrate it because their centennial anniversary, 100 year centennial, is when they first started doing homecoming and they've done it every year since. Yep, the Rotary's very active in it. They usually put on quite a few events. They have a dinner going. Um, the carnival is there and well, we're it's gonna just have a to blast. Come out and have a good time for oh, that one. Oh, great parade too. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna wear just a cowboy hat or something, not a sombrero. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking cowgirl hat too. All yeah. right, I just wanna give you some advance warning on that one. We'll get butter, or maybe stick a Mexican flag in her mouth or something. There you go, yep, there we, we can go. do that. <laughs> There we go. We're looking forward to homecoming coming up. And then what else we have going on in Ione? Well, you know, there's the park across the street that has that beautiful train there. A lot of families like to enjoy that. Uh, there's always golfing at Castle Oaks. Just a fun community. You can go and take a walk um, over at the old home for Sea, sea Biscuit. Uh, beautiful horse ranch and they still have the track that goes around the center area the center area is now a soccer field it was a historical home of sea biscuit that Very land much. out there that property is just beautiful mm -hmm. and the, the golf course is an amazing place to spend time at for meals and things if you're not even golfing just being out there it's a beautiful golf course yeah they have a nice driving range and they have a great little uh, restaurant and bar there too great yeah. well, why don't we just enjoy some of this lunch while we have a chance sounds good i'll share mine with you i'll share mine well, Jessica, thank you for that lovely lunch. It was Phenomenal, delicious. yes. Thank you very much. Not only is the food great, but you obviously have the best coffee and desserts, pastries, and everything in the county. Mm -hmm. And you have prime rib dinners on Friday and Saturday on the weekends, Friday, Saturday nights. You have uh, prime rib every weekend. People can come out. They come all the way from Folsom to uh, eat that prime rib dinner, I'm understanding. Yeah. It's pretty good stuff. Bingo. Yeah. We also have table service, too, now, so you can come and relax and have a seat and let our staff wait on you. Oh, I, I love to be pampered for dinner, yeah, me definitely. Too. Me too. Well, Clark's Corner has Wi-Fi. That's all I need to know. I'll bring my <laughs> iPad and come over and have a cup of coffee, and we encourage everybody. And bingo. And, and music. bingo. I see people in here, like 50 people having a it's night of bingo. That's a lot of fun. Trivia, too, huh? Oh, good. Yeah, good. A, a lot going on at Clark's Corner, and we encourage everybody to get on out here. Mike, you couldn't have picked a better day to go wine tasting. Oh, I'd pick every day to go wine tasting if I could, rain or shine. But Ion has a couple of great wineries out here, and Tannis is one of them, and I'm looking forward to going in and seeing Andrew. Yeah, it's a beautiful property off of Willow Creek Road, so let's go in and oh, see what he has. Italian varietals, that's why I've come over here. No, it's my first time here, so I'm looking forward to trying some new wines. You're going to love it. Andrew, how exciting. We finally made it over to Tannis. I've been promising you for a while. <laughs> Welcome. Thank Welcome, you. both of you. Well, thank you so much for hosting us here. You have a beautiful place. Thank you. 
Thank you know, you. People normally don't make it out to this part of Ione for the wine country visits, and uh, it's, a, it's a treasure out here. It is a treasure, and uh, when you find us, we are a treasure because we are a small winery. Mm -hmm. We're hands-on, uh, we're family-operated, run, and we have a lot of fun. And that's what it's all about. That's right. Make it exciting and fun, something new for people to try. Exactly. Exactly. And how long have you been out here? Uh, we've been here, well, open to the public. We've been open to the public five years. I've been making wine for about 16, having fun. And I was actually convinced by about two winemakers up here to go professional. And I did. Took a little bit of time to do, but here we are today. Well, that was good advice that they gave you. Why don't you show us your label? That's an amazing label. I know it has a story to us. Yes, uh, to it does have a story. If you look at our label closely, we have on one side, we have a wedding band in the center. On one side is poison oak. It goes through grape, to grapevines. When we purchased the property, it was a force of poison oak. It was taken off the market. Nobody wanted it. So we took, got rid of the poison oak, went from poison oak to grapevines. Then the wedding band, on the wedding band, if you can see that, it's Feta Esperanza Amore, which is from grapevine, which is, we do a lot of Italian varietals here. So that's faith, hope, and love in Italian. And the reason why the wedding band's incorporated in there is because early on I was actually hand pressing grapes up front here. I had grape seeds all over my hands. I shook them off. I all of a sudden heard this bing. I wasn't sure what that was at that very moment, but then I realized it was my wedding band. Oh. I lost it. Oh. My wife and I and kids went out, looked all over for it. Never found it. The next day we rented it, a metal detector, had it set for gold. Mm -hmm. Still never found it. So, Actually, to this day, there's a wedding band out there, and this is band two, quarter size smaller. Good job. <laughs> so that's kind of our label art on our wine, kind of our story. Mm -hmm. Process. Yeah, our wine's a special blessing there. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's for sure. We have a beautiful uh, tasting room, and I know you have, a, we just had a wonderful lunch over at Clark's Corner, mm -hmm. and, and Monique loves whites. I'm sure you have a never, uh, refreshing white varietal you might want to try. Well, we do. We have, I do about 13 different, 13 plus varietals. One of the whites we have available right now on the bar is our Shannon Blanc. Mm -hmm. It's a light, crisp, clean white. Let's have you try it. I'd love to try it. Let's try it. One of the things you want to look for, of course, in a white, is color. When, you, when, you're, when you're wine tasting, you're using all your senses. Now you got to remember, your ears are one of the senses. That's why I like to use real cork. So when you pop the cork, you get that your tongue. Now with tasting wine, it's okay to slurp it. Mm -hmm. So you can slurp the wine, and what that does, it atomizes the, the wine, it gets into your nasal passages. Mm -hmm. So taste, slurp it, and then see what flavors you come up. Oh, I didn't know we were still slurping. I did one big slurp right in the beginning. It's called chugging. <laughs> oh, that was, oh, I thought you said chugging was okay, <laughs> Andrew. I guess those are your college days remember. Yeah. back. <laughs> now, Santa Barbara, we, we drank a little, a little bit of wine. Oh, yeah, good. excellent. Those are just wonderful. You have an incredible room here, and you, you're open on the weekends. I'm sure you have a website as well. I and mean, how do people find you out here? We do. Uh, we are open uh, Friday through Sunday from 10 to 5.30. If we're here, let's taste some wine. Absolutely. And we're here for We have fun. Incredible. And that's what it's all about, mm -hmm. tasting, having fun. It's about people. And that's why I enjoy about making wine. It's the make good wine, share a bottle mm -hmm. with people, friends, family, and enjoy the, the company. personal connection. Exactly. Yeah. That's what it's about. Yeah, we, we're losing that. We were trying to maintain a lot of that character here in Amador County. And, you know, but in a lot of places, Napa and places, you know, you just lose that personal connection to the winemaker. And, you know, that's what's so special about you out here. You've been here mm -hmm. from the start of the grape all, all the way, way through. through. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. And you have just a wonderful, dynamic personality. I mean, it's a connection right away with you. You're just charming. You make great wines. You're knowledgeable. It's the kind of place that I like to come. Thank you. And that's what it's about. That's what it should be. And being relaxed. When I come out here to Ion, I've never been more relaxed. This is one of the most relaxing parts of the county. I love I mean, it out it's here. Just, it's I think so our expectations here. are a little bit lower because you don't know what's out here, and then you're just amazed. And uh, people like yourself, Andrew and Tannis, I mean, it's just, it's incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we're wrapping it up here out here at Tannis with Andrew. Thanks so much for hosting us, Andrew. And here's to Ione and visiting Amador, and we've had a nice trip. And great time, great place here. Enjoy it. Please stay tuned for more TSPN TV programming.